welcome back to your english class children today we are going to start with a new lesson before we start i hope you all are staying home following all the guidelines given by the government and moving out of the house only if it is very necessary the next lesson which we are going to start is lesson 4 the royal bengal tiger the tiger was chosen as the national animal of india due to its grace strength quick movement and enormous power as the tiger is also considered a mighty animal of jungle it was an obvious choice for the national animal category tiger has always been considered as a royal animal the tiger as the national animal of india symbolizes the power strength elegance alertness intelligence and tolerance of the nation now as we all know that the tiger is the national animal and it has some very good qualities like it is very swift in movement it has a lot of strength and it has a lot of power and which also symbolizes the characteristic the property the features of our own nation that our country is powerful full of strength full of alertness full of intelligence however what is alarming is that there has been a steep fall in the population of tigers in the world due to illegal smuggling of tiger skin and other body parts there are very few tigers left in the world today there are only 5000 to 7000 tigers in the world today out of which bangladesh nepal bhutan china and myanmar claim to have the population of 3000 to 4500 and india alone claims to have a population of 2500 to 3750 tigers now uh, tigers are uh, the national animal of india but still we have observed that the number of tigers all over the world was decreasing day by day and why it was decreasing because the illegal selling of the skin of tiger was at a very large scale so that is why we were in short of tigers because people were killing tigers for their body parts for their skin although it is a national animal and we cannot kill it legally but there uh, we have taken some measures and now the population is uh, increasing and India claims to have the maximum number of tigers in India which is 2500 to 3750 in India out of the eight known types of tiger in India there are means we know that there are eight types of tiger but the royal bengal tiger is found throughout the country how many types of tigers are there eight but royal bengal tigers are found throughout the country in India except the north western region as there was a fear the tigers might be wiped out from the indian soil the indian government launched the project tiger in the year 1973 uh, as the number of uh, tigers were decreasing day by day aisa lagta tha ki wiped off means completely puri tarike se khatam ho jayenge india se tigers so the government of india started a project named the project tiger in 1973 project tiger focuses on preserving and remain the remaining tiger population in the country as well as increasing the population of the tigers under this project 23 tiger reserves were established throughout the country providing safe and comfortable shelter to the tigers in the natural environment and now what is project tiger 
it focuses on preserving the tigers those who are left and trying and to increase the number of tigers and so because of uh, so to fulfill this thing under this project the government has built 23 tiger reserves which gave a natural environment where the tiger can live and increase in number by 1993 there was much improvement in the tiger population in the country however despite the increase of population the population of tigers in the country is still not satisfactory as compared to the effort and money put in the project by 1993 the number of tigers started increasing but as the as we have the expectation jitna paisa kharch ho raha hai right jitna mehnat lag rahi hai us hisab se in comparison to that the number of tigers were not increasing satisfactorily this is due to the illegal poaching of tigers and negligence of authorities towards the alarming situation of the tiger population in the country now what is poaching again hunting illegally still still in some parts of india tigers are illegally killed and this is somewhere the negli- negligence of the authorities only because uh, several strict rules are made that no one can kill any national animal or bird however the latest estimates show that 2226 tigers roamed through the forest reserves in the country in 2014 in 2014 how many tigers were there 2226 this shows an increase in the number of the national animal of india this shows that the number of tigers are increasing with this india has around 70 percent of world's around 3000 tigers right now it is having around 3000 tigers and which is 70 percent population of tigers we have it in, in india only the efforts for the protection of tigers are slowly showing results slowly and gradually the things are showing results and the number of tigers are increasing in the coming years the population of tigers will hopefully increase due to the efforts of the government and the people of our country since the government is also making uh, several attempts and the people are also getting aware now so in the coming years we can hope that the number of tigers will increase now coming to the mcqs of this lesson which of these is not the reason for Bengal tiger to be chosen as the national bird of India? Konsa reason nahi hai? It is grateful. Yes, it is the reason. It is powerful. It is the reason. It is. It looks beautiful. No, this is not the reason. So this is the right answer. Which country has the maximum number of tigers? India. India has the maximum number of tigers, around 70%. In which country was Project Tiger launched? When was it launched? It was launched in India in 1973. Which tiger is found throughout India except in the northwestern region? The Royal Bengal Tiger. Very good. The Royal Bengal Tiger. Fifth question. How many tiger reserves were established throughout the country under the project tiger? How many reserves were made? 23. 23 reserves were established throughout the country. I hope you have understood the lesson and you are able to solve this exercise. Until we meet in the next class, I hope you will complete your work. Thank you and have a good day.